Yeah, today I'm going to show you how to program a Sonoff RF um, uh, basic as well as remote controls um, which are 433 megahertz um, buttons, either a 4 button remote or an 8 button remote. And they talk directly to this device, they don't need internet at all, both to program or to, um, to use with the device itself. And then I'm also going to show you how to program this to work together with the Sonoff uh, EV-Link app. Um, and the reason why I ended up doing this video today is that I had an inquiry or a, a, a question on a, a pub that has um, five um, pool tables. And what they want is to be able to control the lights um, and they want to make sure that when somebody's paid to use the pool table uh, that the light will only be on for an hour and at the end of the hour it will automatically turn off and then they can pay to have an extended hour as an example. So they would have five of these units and then they would choose which button they want to control each of the units when somebody is paid for it. So I'm going to go through the process quickly. I'll start with the programming of this onto the cell phone. The reason why we need that is so that we can set up the um, inching service as it's called um, so that we can set this that after the hour it will turn off and um, so once it's turned on it will turn off after an hour. So the way you do this first of all when it comes to programming any Sonoff device um, you must make sure that your Wi-Fi connection that you're using is on 2.4 gigahertz and not 5 gigahertz otherwise it doesn't work because the Sonoff device only works on 2.4 gigahertz. So you do that by going into your settings for your Wi-Fi and selecting the correct one. Don't select the 5 gigahertz. Make sure you're on 2.4 gigahertz. Once you're on there, um, to get into programming mode, you hold the black button down for 10 seconds until that light flashes three times on, once off, three times on. You'll see by keep holding it down. After 10 seconds, it's down programming mode. You can see it's flashing three times. You push add. Uh, you say next wait for it to search for it there it is there we just go next next and done okay and it pops up like that to test that it's working you can always click on it if you have a look here this is 220 volt uh, this is a, a meter just showing 220 volts so i click on it there's the 220 volts so now the light is on click on it again light will go off at this point i'm going to show you how to set up the timer so if you go to the three little dots at the top there, you look for an option over here called inching, which is this over here, inching settings. Turn the inching on, and then you can choose over here, in their case they would choose an hour. I don't want to wait an hour, so I'm just going to make it a couple seconds. I'll make it two seconds, okay, and I'm going to save that. And basically save again. So now, if I push the button and turn it on, it'll stay on for two seconds and then it will automatically turn off on its own. And you can see that highlighting over here on the phone as well. Okay, so that's all the configuration that's needed for this device and you don't need the Wi-Fi to do the rest. Now we're going to communicate between the remotes, which are RF remotes, and directly to this unit over here. And the way this works, uh, there's two programming modes. The first one, as I showed you, was after 10 seconds where the blue light flashes three times on, once off, three, light, three times on, once off. For the remotes to be programmed, you hold the button down until this turns red. As soon as it turns red, let go the button and then push the button that you want to select to be the button to be programmed to the device. So if I hold it down and it turns red, as soon as it turns red, I now click the button, it turns red again. Now when I push the remote, you'll see it will turn on with the remote and it's turning on for those two seconds. And the same thing happens with this one, you choose which button you want to program, you hold this down until it flashes red, and then you push the button, and we do it again, hold it down until it flashes red once. Then you push the button, flashes red once again. Now when I push that button, it programs it. So after two seconds it turns off. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Click the like below and save our site for future videos.